I'm joined by Bobby Hill, who is VP, VP of Sales at BYD out of California. Great to have you here, Bobby. You're a big, Thank big, you. big uh, supporter of the show, so we're, we're, we're pleased to have you here. Yep, we've enjoyed it. Good, and um, lots going on with BYD at the moment. You've got a huge expansion plan at the moment. That's, that's exciting news for us. We, uh, you know, the plant that we started in was about 150,000 square feet. We did a second phase last year, added about another 70,000. But right now we're getting ready to move into the third and final phase, which will take the plant to almost a half a million square feet. Wow. And the official ribbon cutting grand opening is on October the 6th, yep. uh, right before uh, the APTA conference. Okay, well I'm hoping, hoping to get my invite. Absolutely, it should be coming to you this week. <laughs> Good. So how many, um I mean, obviously that's bringing jobs to the area as well. It's been good for the city. You know, the, that Antelope Valley area kind of got uh, oh, rocked in 2008 and a lot of the RV manufacturing companies and aerospace companies laid off a lot of people. So it's been good for both BYD and good for the citizens that live out there. And right now we're over 700 employees with more to hire. Wow, that's amazing. And uh, for, for those people that don't know, BYD specializes in electric bus technology. We do. Everything we do as far as heavy equipment or heavy vehicles is electric. So we build electric buses and of course we build electric trucks and forklifts. But more importantly here for this show, it's all about the electric bus. It, yeah. And it's amazing how you know, the market is, is, is embracing the electric bus technology. It seems to be everyone's talking about it. You know, is that, how, are you, how are you finding things? Every year it's gotten better. Uh, so with, with federal funding getting better for the electric market, with everybody having sustainability and zero or low emissions on the mindset to help the planet last a lot longer, mm -hmm. uh, everybody is interested. Uh, people are now buying the buses, they're yep. putting them in their fleet, they're not scared of them anymore. Right. Uh, the range is doing what a diesel bus will do or more, yeah. and of course the maintenance costs are a whole lot less. Right. So everybody likes that to see on their bottom line. Good, good. Um, no, it's an exciting technology and obviously you've got a relationship with uh, Antelope Valley and who I think they're They've got an aggressive campaign to have all of their fleet electric buses by 2018. They really do. I think by the end of next year, uh, all of their buses will be, will be totally electric and they're going to run several models. Uh, they have our 40-foot low floor transit bus. Uh, they're going to be operating our 45-foot over the road high floor bus. And they've just recently taken delivery of their new 60-foot articulated wow. electric buses. Huh. And. Uh, that's, that's really becoming one of the most popular models that we're selling. Wow. And we've just delivered uh, the first 60 foot electric buses to Albuquerque for a new BRT line they're doing down there. Mm -hmm. And we were just awarded the contract here in Indianapolis for Indigo right. for 75 60 footers for a new BRT lines they're gonna be doing. Wow. So wow. it's an exciting time at BYD. Okay, yeah, great. But you're not showing one of the big transit buses this week. What are you, what are you showing here at BusCon? We actually brought the smallest bus that we make. It's 23 feet bumper to bumper. And the one we have on the floor this week kind of has what we call an executive package on the inside. So it seats nine people and there's even nine umbrellas in there for <laughs> the folks that travel in that one. Yeah, and leather seats. And oh, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's, a beautiful yeah, bus. it's a beautiful bus. And who's the typical customer for that? Is it more... Uh, corporate campuses? Or? It would be. Yeah, a lot, a lot of private sectors in that. And we do have uh, 10 of that model operating at Facebook. And they use them um, for basically employee shuttles right. around to get to different meetings and buildings yeah. on the campus. So yeah. great little bus. Great. OK. And, and how's it been for you this week? I tell you, James, you know, this year has been incredible. It has been busier than I expected. And literally, I brought a full box of our brochures. I'm completely out. I brought a full box of pins. I'm completely out, and I think I'm a little bit hoarse. I've talked so much, so it's been great. Good. Well, I'm, I'm delighted. It's, that's what you know. This event's all about: meeting new people and Absolutely. building new relationships. So appreciate all the support, and uh, look forward to seeing you again next year. We love being here. Great. Thank you, sir. Thank you.